music students, this is Tammy Lee Hughes, and in today's vlog, I'm going to talk about you and rhythm. Have you ever been to a wedding reception, a party, or a school dance, and seen someone who absolutely can't find the beat no matter how hard they try? It looks really crazy on the dance floor, but it can be just as crazy in a music setting. Most of the time, we play or sing music with others. Whether you're playing with one person or 50 other people, rhythm is very important. We have to stay together. So here are three things that professionals do regularly to ensure that their rhythm is precise and clean. First, professionals internalize the pulse. Sometimes it can feel as if the tempo or the pulse is outside of our bodies. Sometimes we look to the conductor to make sure that the group stays together and that the tempo is steady. But as musicians, we're all responsible for feeling the pulse of the music and for keeping it steady. I often tell students it's important to make sure that you physically feel tempo inside of your body. Some people say they feel it in their stomach. Others say they feel it in their foot or their heart. It doesn't really matter where it is. It just matters that it's somewhere. Every time you play, wherever you feel that sense of rhythm physically in your body, you should imagine that there is a very loud metronome in that part of your body and that it's so loud and so strong that you are always aware that it's there. If your internal pulse is nice and strong, it will help you to play or sing in sync with others and it will keep you from sticking out the second thing professionals do regularly is subdivide. When you subdivide, you take the strong beat and you feel it in smaller, regular increments. For example, if there are four quarter note beats in every measure, when you subdivide, you actually feel the beat in eight eighth notes instead. When you feel the pulse in smaller increments, it actually helps you play even the most intricate rhythms more accurately, and it helps to prevent rushing or dragging. If you're not used to subdividing, I encourage you to try it on something really easy. If you're a singer, this could be the happy birthday song, or if you're an instrumentalist, it could be hot cross buns or twinkle twinkle little star, something very easy. Play through your song one time through with a quarter note beat and then play the song again a second time through, filling the beat in eighth notes instead. How does it feel different? Is it weird? Actually, subdividing does feel kind of strange at first, but the more you do it, the easier it gets, and you start to recognize when it can help you. I use subdividing particularly in passages of music that have intricate rhythms. Subdividing is very helpful and I encourage you to incorporate this into your playing regularly. The third thing professionals do every day is listen to the rhythms of the other musicians in the ensemble. It's really easy to focus on your part and your part alone. I mean, you have a lot to think about in music, but to play in sync with others, you have to be engaged in what they're doing as well. And I don't just mean people in your section, I mean people in the entire ensemble. I often play in orchestras, and I have learned that there are two things my ears have to hone in on no matter what. The first thing is the rhythm section. There is always something in the music that is marking the beat. The second thing I listen for is the melody. I listen to the melody because I know everyone else is listening to that. It's the most important part. And I want to make sure that what I'm doing is supporting the melody properly. It's so exciting when everyone is listening in this way because it allows the conductor to convey musical ideas instead of just the beat. And this is when music really comes alive. It is so much fun and it becomes an experience. The next time you practice by yourself or you're playing in an ensemble, I want you to pay attention to how you're thinking about rhythm. Are you internalizing the pulse? Are you subdividing? And are you listening to other rhythms in the music? Rhythm is the motor of music and it's so invigorating when that motor is running like it should. So I encourage you to put rhythm on the front burner in your mind and to keep thinking about this every single time you play. Get into the rhythm groove.